and welcome. Today I thought I would do something maybe, I'm not sure if I've seen too many of these, but I'm going to do a lip, uh, mascara declutter because I have 13 mascaras. Uh, this is too many mascaras for any one person. And I have opened them all because I have a problem and I like to play with all of them. So today I'm going to go through them and we're going to get rid of some. I also do have eye looks where I've used the mascaras in them. Some of them you'll see one eye and then the other, like I've done one mascara on one eye and another mascara on the other eye, just so that I could get definite swatches for all of them. But pretty much all of them are mascaras that I have used a few times. So I'm going to start off with one of the first ones, and this is one that I'm getting rid of today, and this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This lengthens, curls, volumizes, lifts, and separates. It is a really nice mascara. My problem with this mascara is that every time I use it, I stab myself in the eye. There's just something about it being really pokey and quite stiff and the rounded shape of it. Um, so this one is getting decluttered today. I do quite like this one, just I can't be trusted with it. The next one is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I have this just in a mini, but I do really enjoy this one. And this is one of Annette's Makeup Corner's favorite mascaras. And she is great. This one is really lovely. I'm keen to buy it in the full size, but I'm going to go through my mascaras first before I start committing to full size mascaras. So this is a full blast of volumizing mascara that creates massive volume without weighing down lashes. I think for me, I find it's really quite nice and lengthening uh, and I really enjoy the effect that it has. Where it doesn't seem to clump up too much or anything like that. Uh, this is the NARS Climax Mascara. I bought this when this first came out and I have enjoyed using it. It's Reach Your Climax with Explosive Volume Building Mascara. It's quite a volumizing one, but I kind of just mostly kind of keeping it because I love the packaging at the moment. The brush is really nice and they say that you're not meant to, uh, you, you don't need to curl your lashes with this formula. And I don't mind it, it's nice. It, and my lashes do look nice. They're a bit more subdued, if anything, with these. Not as lengthening, is what I would say. The ColourPop BFF Mascara, this beauty here, is a volumizing mascara. Lashes check. I got this in my ColourPop Mystery box and I am decluttering this one and getting rid of it. It's nice. And it's cheap. I'm keen to try it in the colours because I think it would look quite good. But I just find it's more of a volumizer than a lengthener. I do have quite long lashes, but I just, this brush and me just don't get along as well. And this is kind of, this brush handle is a bit reminiscent of the Better Than Sex handle, I'd say, which I can show you right now. So this is Better, six, better Than Sex next to the colour pop one. Um, and I don't like either of these, to be honest. So. I think it's, for me, it's the brush type that lets this formula down, but I, they're not bad and this is quite volumizing. Um, I'm keen to try it in the colors. I think it, I think the way that Annette's Makeup Corner uses it on the bottom lashes looks beautiful and they're cheap. So I definitely will pick up some of the colored ones, but for now, as a general mascara, I just, I don't need this one in my life. Uh, so let's talk about Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a holy grail, I believe, for quite a few people, or you at least hear about it a lot. Uh, and like I said, for me, it's the brush that lets it down. I just don't really like it. This is one that sort of surprised me. And this is the Natio Ampl Amplify and Separate Volumizing Mascara. I love the brush in this one. And I find it gives me a really good grab. It's got the way that it's handled, like that curve there. I find it really grabs onto my lashes quite well from the root. And I can get a good coverage. And this one's staying because I really, I really just enjoy the formula and I enjoy the brush handle on this one. I've got two Lancome Hypnos ones. I've got Volume, Volume of Porter and the Hypnos Doll Eyes. The Lancome Hypnos handle, you just, you can't beat it. For me, I have quite hooded eyes and they're quite just tiny. So having that pointed corner like that lets me get into the edges of my eyelashes. And to me, just really makes a difference in the application. So these ones are definitely staying. They do have that classic rose scent of Longcom mascaras. So if you're a bit sensitive to that, you might not like it. The Hypnos, this is not as fluffy as the other one, but it still has that pointed ridge. And I quite enjoy it. I find both of these perform really well for me. I think I'm only going to be showing you the Doll Eyes mascara and on a look. But they're both good. The It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This is one, and um, 
I couldn't remember what video it was, but I did compare it to the Bad Girl Bang, and it performed quite well. And then I know that Annette compared it as well because she already had one in hers as well. I can't remember exactly. I don't think it was as good, but um, yeah, for her comparison, I think. But this is quite lengthening, volumizing for me. It did get a bit clumpy on the one that you saw, the look that you, like the eye that you're about to look at, which is me after work, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted I need, I wanted to get swatches for you of mascara. Um, I'm gonna keep this because I'm curious to play with it a bit more. It's not up there in a favorite formula though. The Mac and I will always struggle to know which one this is because it just says mascara B67 on the bottom. Uh, I quite like this one, though it is that similar pointy stick one. The mascara I find I don't have as much trouble poking myself in the eye with it. But I might eventually poke myself in the eye with it. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to keep it. I quite enjoy its handle, which is, I know, a bit of a weird thing to annoy. But I do. Uh, I just, I really like this mascara. The Hourglass Caution Mascara. I don't like this in the mini. Uh, just because the it's so difficult to manoeuvre. It's got a similar brush head to like the Better Than Sex and those Colourpop BFF ones. And it's just not... It's not very user friendly in this case for me with my tiny eyes because I just I find it very difficult to use. But it it's nice. It has a nice effect. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara in a mini. I'm wearing that today, and I believe this is the first time I'm wearing this. But I'm actually just going to declutter it straight off the bat. It's another brush that like the Better Than Sex and all the rest, and it just I think it could have done better. Uh, I just would have liked a bit more lengthening. And I just don't need that many, I don't need this many mascaras. So I'm happy I'm to part with a couple. So we had 13 mascaras and we have decluttered five. I now have eight mascaras in my collection, which is still more than any one person should ever have. But, you know, it's better than 13. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this sort of last watching... Uh, mascara chat. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the mascaras I've got rid of. Do you disagree? Do you, uh, some of these your favourite? Have you tried the ones that I love? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.